What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about glute bridges. I get a lot of questions from guys at my gym and uh, guys um, that email me and send me messages about, Kevin, what do you do for your glutes, man? How do you work your glutes? How do I get my glutes bigger? How do I get my glutes stronger? How do I get my glutes to look better for my girlfriend? <laughs> Whichever your goal is, all right? I'm going to give you one simple hack, or I don't even like to call it a hack, but it's a hack for home gyms or at your, home, at your uh, regular gym. It's called, they're called glute bridges, and I'm sure some of you have heard of them. Uh, there's many variations of glute bridges. There's machines that do glute bridges for you. There's glute bridges done with barbells. I've seen guys do them with Smith machines. I've seen people do them with dumbbells. So it just depends on what you want to do. But uh, it's one. It's probably my favorite uh, glute isolator that I do. Um, squats, of course, are gonna work your glutes tremendously. Lunges are gonna work your glutes and glute bridges. Leg presses work your glutes if you put your feet up high on the leg press when you're on the sled, you know, and you're, you got the big pad there. If you put your legs up high, your feet up high, right, you're gonna get more glutes going high on the pad versus going low on the pad. If you go low on the pad, you're getting more quads. Go high, you're gonna get some glutes, on, definitely glutes on there, but I find this to be way better for glute activation than doing leg presses or hack squats. But squats, glute bridges, and lunges are three awesome ways to really build your glutes up all right and glutes are great you know not just to have good looking glutes right everyone likes that right but the big thing is is functionality your glutes are the largest most powerful muscles in the body and having powerful glutes will help your squat will help your deadlift will help you run faster anything you do lower body strong glutes are a positive not a negative okay other than you might have to buy some new pants or jeans once you get your legs and your glutes bigger but that's a good problem to have we all want that so Anyway, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna demo this in my gym here, show you how I do my glute bridges. Uh, like I say, there's lots of different ways to do it. I'll show you some safety tips and different foot positions, weight selection, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, you will like the outcome. I promise you, you do these religiously, you will notice your glutes get bigger. And I'm saying glutes a lot, which is a little weird, but you'll notice your axe is getting bigger, okay? And uh, we all want that. So here we go. And I'll give you a shout out when I get done with this at the end of the video about some new things you can do to add on to this and some other things we can do to build those glutes up to add to those overall lower body development. Right. So this is very crude, but this is how most people do it in the gym. You're taking a barbell here, right here, and there's a pad on the middle of it, you can see. And this is a short barbell. This is a six foot barbell instead of a seven foot. You can use a seven. I got this little six footer. It's just easier to maneuver for me for this exercise. So I'm going to demonstrate how I do these in my gym. Uh, I will say setting up for these, I don't like rolling them up and I wish I had the machine, but I don't. So um, this is the way I do it at home. And a lot of gyms don't have glute bridge machines. So this is what you see people doing. Some people do them on a Smith machine, you'll see them. Uh, so without any further ado, I will demonstrate this and shut the hell up and what you can watch me. So first thing you need is a bench something like this or something sturdy to sit on that's the first thing you're going to need and this is where it gets a little tricky for me is you're gonna you need something behind this bench to prevent it from tipping because as you'll see if it's not backed up by something sturdy here unless it's a really heavy bench this is a light bench it can tip forward and you can get a bad injury so make sure you got something behind this thing and i'm gonna now sit down here like this and then I'm gonna roll this thing up my thighs like this so this is your starting position my back is firmly against this the bench is against my squat my squat rack so it's very sturdy and nothing's going anywhere if, if I don't have any backing on this when I go to lift this up I could go all the way back and it would not be a good wouldn't be a good outcome probably it would probably make funny stories would probably get more hits than all my videos combined some guy like me you know fucking up and crashing in the gym people be like that's funny gym fails that's probably where it end up who knows we might make that happen yet i could use the uh exposure anyway here we go so what i do is the first thing you gotta do is get your back up on this bench so i put my elbows up like this i grab the plates i get my feet underneath me like this and i curl up and now i got it up okay now there's other ways you can do that. This is how I do it. And get your ass down and you just arc up. 
and this works the glutes. Good squeeze at the top. Get as deep as you can. Get your ass down as far as you can, then up. And then to set it down, I just reverse it. Drop it down like that. Roll it off. And that's it. And then you sit here, catch your breath, and do your next set. Or you can get up and walk around and whatever. But that is the glute bridge. The very simple form of the glute bridge. Now, the key to this is, as you notice, I said, get your ass deep. Try to touch the floor with your butt if you can. If you can't, don't worry about it. Just as long as you're getting a good, good range of motion, squeeze the glutes when you come up, stretch them when you go down, you will feel it in your glutes big time. So I do this on leg day and I do it on back day. Well, this is my second pseudo, I call this a sort of leg back day because I'm deadlifting and doing this stuff. So I would do these, depending on your goals or what you're doing. If your ass is flat, you don't got anything back there, you might want to do these two, three, four times a week. Won't hurt you. Hit them hard. Your glutes will grow. They're the largest muscles in the body. And don't be afraid to work them. So if you already have junk in the trunk, still do them. They're gonna make it stronger, right? So strong glutes are essential. The glutes do a lot of things. I don't know everything that they do, <laughs> but I do know they help you squat a shit ton of weight. So they're great in that. Anyway, that's the glute bridge. And I strongly, I see people do it without the pad here. You can do it without the pad. Whew. I don't like that. I have to have a pad on there, man, because that thing digs, if you know what I mean, in the wrong places. So I do a, a pad uh, and if you, you can buy that, I bought that pad on Amazon for like $6. It's just, 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 just an Amazon type in, you know, barbell pad. You'll get a bunch of them. It's Velcro. It just sits on the bar, tightens up right there. You can take it into the gym with you, use it on their barbells or their Smith machine, whatever you want to do. So that's it. Any questions? Please leave them in the comments again and uh, get on the road to building some big, thick fucking glutes.